Welcome to the Daily Race. Oh man, I'm glad that you're here today. We're, we're not running a marathon, we're not sprinting, we're just taking one step forward uh, in our relationship with God. And today we're in Lamentations chapter 2. And uh, Lamentations chapter 2 is just a continuation of, well, Lamentations chapter 1. It's, it's an acrostic of the Hebrew alphabet. It's Jeremiah the prophet expressing his pain to God. This this first part of the, the book of Lamentations, we're still in that. He's still expressing his his anger, his frustration, his sorrow directly to God. And uh, we're, we're still going through this, this acrostic of, of the Hebrew alphabet. So it's, it's, it's going on and on. And as I was reading here today, the, the thing that, that came out to me, the thing that kind of jumped out to me was just the rawness of, of Jeremiah's words. Um, unfiltered might, might be the, the word that I would use. Let, let me read just a little bit of it here. We'll, we'll start in verse one. It says, the Lord in his anger has, caught, has cast a dark shadow over beautiful Jerusalem. The fairest of Israel's cities lies in dust, thrown down from the heights of heaven. In his day of great anger, the Lord has shown no mercy even to his temple. Without mercy, the Lord has destroyed every home in Israel. In his anger, he has broken down the fortress walls of beautiful Jerusalem. He has brought them to the ground, dishonoring the kingdom and its rulers. I'm just going to pause right there because look at those words. Those are very raw, unfiltered words. And in fact, some of them are well, just not true about who God is. Let's say that, that God is without mercy. Without mercy, the Lord has destroyed. And in his anger, like this, this reactive uh, force that God has broken this down. But we know that, that God is merciful. How many Psalms are written about God's mercy? How many times through the, the land of Israel, <laughs> the, the Israelites, and through bringing them from captivity in uh in Egypt, into the promised land, God showed them mercy. Uh, mercy is one of God's qualities. Yet here it's, it's saying that, that God doesn't have mercy. What is that? That's unfiltered emotion. And it's here in the Bible. As I look at this, it's a reminder that I think so often we, we filter our comments to God. Like we rehearse them. I'm going to pray and this is what I'm going to pray. We, we think through it and what's the best way to say it. Especially if we're you praying in a group, which I understand that. that. That's a little bit different. But in our own private time, in our time with God, how often do we, do we hold back what we're going to say? God wants to hear our unfiltered heart. Here, he's lifting up this. It's, it's in the Bible. It's in the scriptures. Uh, lifted up as an example of, of unfiltered bringing our complaints to God. It isn't edited down. It isn't fact-checked. It isn't done all these things. It's, God, this is how I feel. It doesn't mean that this is what's true. It doesn't mean that this is necessarily that I see the big picture and all that you're doing. It doesn't even mean that in this moment, this is how I feel about you, even though I know this is an actual, your actual character. But it's being honest to God. This is how I feel in this moment. The key is, is that you're bringing it to God. That you're bringing your pain to God, your unfiltered pain and emotion to God and bringing him to the one person who can do something about it. Being open and honest. Not trying to pretend like it's okay. Not trying to uh, hold back because you don't want to hurt God's feelings. God can handle what you're feeling. In fact, to be honest, he already knows what you're feeling. God already knows your thoughts. So it's a healthier thing to express them to him. Now, tomorrow we're gonna to look at the pivot in this conversation but today, it's just that, that word unfiltered. When we come to God, when we're hurting, when we're struggling, when we go through great loss and great sorrow, you don't have to pretend like it doesn't hurt. You don't have to pretend like you understand how it's going to all work. You don't have to pretend uh, that you, you know all things are going to work together for good, even though you have no idea how that's going to even happen at that moment. You can tell God, God, I don't know how this is going to work out for good. I don't know how you're going to fulfill your promises in this situation. It just seems like bad upon bad upon bad, and I don't get it, and I'm angry, and I'm upset. God can handle that. In fact, he wants you to bring it to him. Why? So that he can deal with your pain. God can heal. God can help you process it. God can help you work through it, but only if you're honest about what it is. Now, this isn't for us to to shout from the rooftops and complain to other people that that's not what this is, is open um, uh, season for that. It's to bring our pain to God. 
Now, of course, hopefully you have some trusted friends that you can be open and honest with with how you're feeling and that they're going to be able to help walk through this. But first, we bring it to God. First, we bring it to God openly, honestly, unfiltered, unedited. We don't have to practice our prayers before we bring them to God. Bring them as you feel, as you are in the moment. That's what God wants from us. Our Heavenly Father wants to hear from us directly. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you today and we thank you that, that you understand us better than we understand ourselves. That before we can even articulate the pain, before we can even articulate the emotion, God, you, you know us deeper than that. You, you already know what we're feeling. You even know what we were going to feel before we felt it. So God, help us to, to just break down this, this wall of, of intimacy with you. That we have to hold ourselves back, that we have to put on a front, that we have to pretend to be something that we're not. When God, you you love us as we are. You, you love us enough not to leave us where we are. So we, we trust you with that. That however we're feeling, whatever emotion we're going through, whatever pain we're dealing with, God, is part of your plan. Even though we can't see it, even though we can't understand it, we trust you with the healing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right. Well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now, right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.